or some crazy things said last night between Trump and Harris about immigration. First, Trump accused Haitian migrants of eating people's pets, dogs and cats, people's pets who are living in Springfield. Actually, it's quite laughable. Made me laugh. Now, there have been a big influx of Haitian migrants into Springfield, more than 20,000 over the last few years. And there are reports of tensions between American-borns and the Haitian migrants, especially as it relates to schooling and housing. But nobody's eating anybody's dogs there. The mayor, the town officials, they've all come out and said, absolutely not true. Trump accused Vice President Harris of allowing migrants to come unimpeded into the United States and go on a criminal rampage. That's also not true as far as crime is concerned. According to the FBI, violent crime reached its height in 2020 during President Trump's presidency and has slowly gone down year after year. Now, Trump did blame Harris for illegal crossings going up during the Biden administration. And that was actually true. And Trump did blame Biden and Harris for putting a stop to it in the last six months just because we're having an election coming up. And Vice President Harris never really said why they allowed it for three and a half years. And now these last six months going into an election put a stop to it. Instead, she pivoted and blamed Trump for killing a bipartisan immigration bill that would have put more immigration officers on the border so he would have an issue in this presidential election to go against Biden and ultimately Harris. What we didn't hear from either one of them is how they're going to fix the problem. Immigration is important to the United States. It's important to keep families together. It's important to help refugees who are in need of shelter and help. It's about bringing high talent, high skilled people into the United States to work. It's about bringing employees into the United States to do jobs that Americans don't wanna do. It's about dealing with the generation after generation after generation of people living in the United States undocumented and how we're gonna bring them out of the shadows and get them green cards and make them productive citizens of the United States of America. And it's about attracting very wealthy people to come to the United States, invest in businesses in the United States and employ Americans. That's why we need immigration, but nobody ever talked about it.